Marco Adrico, why do you play with Barbie dolls? You are such a girl. Marco Adrico, no, no, we don't want him on our team. We need big, strong men on our team. Marco Adrico, when are you going to grow a pair of balls? Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what it's like to wake up every morning feeling like you are not enough of a man? I was eight years old when the name calling began. I was eight years old when I began to question what society's view of a man should be. I was eight years old when I was told I am not the gender that I identify with because of my preferences. I was eight years old when I had to solidify my understanding of who I was because I feared being sad for the rest of my life. I was eight years old. See, I like to make movies. That's why I play with the Barbie dolls. They were the heroines in my small flakes. I prefer to play music. That's why I didn't go outside and play sports. But because of my differences, because of my preferences, I was automatically not enough of a man. Hegemonic masculinity is defined as a legitimization of the powerful man's dominant position in the society that we live in today and a subordination of the other ways of being a man. If you do not possess typically manly qualities or if you are not in possession of typically manly traits, you are ostracized, marginalized, and discriminated against in the society that we live in today. As a man, I am expected to be confident. I am expected to be brazen. As a man, I am expected to be courageous, to be the ideal man. I have to be buff. I have to be self-assured. I have to enjoy watching and playing sports. I have to enjoy the outdoors, among many other things. But this, this is what I had to adhere to. If you are lucky enough to have been born with all of these things, <laughs> kudos to you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. But if you weren't, welcome to the club. However, masculinity today, men today rather, are also expected to be misogynistic, aggressive, and emotionally barren. It's not always explicit. It's in the subtleties of the things that we say. We tell boys to man up when we want them to stop showing emotion. We tell boys and we justify sexual exploitation when we tell boys that this is what is going to happen to you. Nothing will happen to you. That is what we say. That is what we mean. And that is what we have propagated as a society. When we fail to advocate against violence as a means of problem remediation, we glorify it. When we tell boys, boys will be boys, encouraging them to use their fists rather than their words, we glorify it. Did you know that 21% of ever partnered women in Kenya, aged 15 to 49, have been subjected to domestic violence in just the past year? When a woman is raped at a party and is not given justice because a man will be a man, we glorify sexual exploitation. When Wendy Camunto took to social media to tell us her plight, to tell us her story of how she got pregnant, she was told, one, that she was asking for it. Two, asked why she was drunk and alone with three men in the place that she was in. And three, asked why she had the audacity to try and ruin the careers of the three men that she was accusing of raping her because they were the people that she asked for it from. Why? Why is it masculine to be violent? Why is it masculine to view women as objects? Moreover, a boy that prefers the arts to sports, a boy with anxiety, a boy that likes to dress up, will be labeled as unmanly. Boys that like to go out, boys that like to dance, boys that want to grow up to be actors or singers or dancers will be labeled as unmanly. 
Boys with typically feminine features, such as a soft face or long hair or slender, barely muscled bodies, will be labeled as unmanly. Among many other examples, we ostracize those that do not seem to fall into the more masculine side. Why? Why was I immediately not enough of a man because I preferred to play with Barbie dolls? Why was I immediately placed into the unmanly box because of my preference to play music over sports? Why are there even boxes in the first place? And then to top it all off, ladies and gentlemen, masculinity today is a hierarchy. A literal four-tiered pyramid. Towards the top of this pyramid, we have the super masculine guys. The ones that exemplify all of these glorified traits. They're super buff, super brazen, super confident. And then as you move down to the second tier, these are the men that possess some of these traits, but don't possess all. For example, they might be buff, but they possess the typically feminine quality of being artistic. As you move down in this pyramid, the men become less and less masculine until we reach the very bottom where these men are not even men at all. Respect increases as you move upwards on this pyramid. Validation increases as you move upwards on this pyramid. As members of society, you will allot admiration and respect to the man in the top tier because he is the epitome of what all men should be. Scrutiny, however, diminishes as you move upwards on this pyramid. As members of society, you will never find yourself questioning the manliness of the man in the top tier. But you will find yourself saying that the men in the bottom tier need to man up or stop being wimps. Men in the top tier are privileged. All their acts are glorified and justified. Wendy Camuto's rapists for example. But God forbid a man in the bottom tier do the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the truth of the matter and what I have come here to tell you today is that masculinity is not a black and white concept. We need to redefine it. It's not something that can be classed into two separate boxes and it is definitely not the negative traits that I have described above. Think about what would happen if we communicated to our young boys the importance of using their words instead of their fists. Think about what would happen if we communicated to our young boys the importance of respecting women, the importance of seeing them as human beings rather than objects of sexual desire. Think about the kinds of boys that we would raise if we communicated to them that it's important for them to know what it is they're feeling to talk about the things that they're feeling, to feel frustrated, that it's okay for them to feel overwhelmed. We need to see masculinity as a spectrum on which all men lie. All biological males should be able to fall onto this spectrum. All of them. And where you are on this spectrum does not equate to how much of a man you are. We need to abandon the ideal that you are either man enough or you're not, and accept the idea that all men, regardless of their characteristics, regardless of their traits, regardless of their affinities, are men. We need to abandon the idea that there is an ideal man and accept the idea that all men are ideal and all men are men, manly because they are men. This this is what we need to communicate to our younger generation. This is the idea that we need to impart onto them. So that none grow up feeling unworthy, none grow up feeling emasculated, and none grow up feeling inferior because of who they are. If Michael Jackson hadn't been told by his father to hone his artistic abilities, if he had been told to shun them in favor of more manly things, we would have missed out one of this generation's biggest pop stars. One of this generation's biggest icons. Maybe if, I hadn't, if, maybe if I hadn't been told what I was told all those years ago, just maybe, I'd be studying to be a filmmaker right now. Masculinity is a spectrum. 
Every man should be able to fall into this spectrum. And wherever a man is on this spectrum does not equate to how much of a man he is. Human beings are three-dimensional creatures. Boxing them into not and are is flawed, as well as unencompassing of this marvelous complexity. We limit capability with this method. We hinder the development of identity. My name is Marco Tio Adrico, and I propose that we redefine what we consider masculine, and we redefine masculinity essentially. Little me would have loved this talk. Little me would have felt empowered after this talk. Little me would have felt like a man after this talk. Let's do this for all our little ones.